Talofa, Malale, Mbula and welcome to Season 4, Episode 85 of Breakfast Bites by TableForSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People Sports and another cloudy but bright Monday morning, 27 March 2023. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In Rugby League, a couple of big upsets in the NRL games yesterday. The New Zealand Warriors uh, ripped the uh, Canterbury Bulldogs 16-14 in Auckland. The Newcastle Knights uh, beat the uh, Canberra Raiders 24-14 in Newcastle. And not a big surprise, the Cronulla Sharks 40 against 8 for St. George Dragons in Sydney. I can't believe it, to be honest. Clint Gutherson is one of the best fullbacks in the game. That was Billy Slater responding on Channel 9 to news that the Eels are looking for a new fullback. In Super Rugby Pacific yesterday, a second string blues without six All Blacks trumped the Western Force 30-17 in Auckland. Meanwhile, at home in, at uh, Prince Charles Park in Nandy, for the first time ever, the Fiji Island Drua displayed strong D to ground out a gritty 12-7 win in their round one clash against the Brumbies on Saturday. In football, records are my motivation, Cristiano Ronaldo told reporters on winning his 197th cap for Portugal after making his international debut in 2003. He's also the first man to score in five FIFA World Cups, part of a record tally of 120 international goals for Portugal. Ronaldo is also the leading goal scorer in European Championship Finals with 14 goals and has netted a record 140 times in the UEFA Champions League. The Portuguese legend has also finished as a top scorer in three of Europe's top five leagues, England, Spain and Italy. In sports biz, F45 or functional 45 started in 2012 as just one gym in Sydney before becoming one of the fastest growing fitness franchises in the world, with 2,000 sites in 66 countries, including the US and the UK. The brand's 45 minute high intensity circuit group uh, workouts attracted celebrity backers like actor Mark Wahlberg when F45 Training Holdings Limited listed on the New York Stock Exchange in July 2021. Despite losing money during COVID, the company was valued at US $1.4 billion with shares selling at US $16.10. Celebrated as a global business success story, the company now faces multiple lawsuits in the US, a stock price collapse and a growing number of franchises going bust or selling up. F45's share price in the US has fallen 93% since its peak in August 2021. In boxing, after nine years of trash talk and bad blood, David Benavides and Caleb Plant finally stepped into the ring to settle their differences yesterday. But when their brutal 12-round war was over, there was mutual respect, even though they could only be one winner. And it was Benavides, now 27 and no losses, who came out on top with a unanimous decision a win 115 to 113, 116 to 112, and 117 to 111. So, Canelo next. For TableWorldSports.com, I'm Calvin Kamir. Mahalo, Vina'a, and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Spites. And thank you too much for all your love and support.